and I've been talking here for like 15 minutes, maybe, and um, all of a sudden, like, the camera just, bye. So, um, I think it wasn't recording. Could have sworn it was. Either that or there's like a, some kind of limit. I think this is like a 29 minute limit. Um, but I don't think I was talking for that long. And even if there was a limit like that, it should have saved, right? Otherwise, like, we're getting rid of this camera. So I'm gonna try to do this again. Um, Alright, I wanted to make a video about introverted intuition because I was having a thought about it last night and obviously like I don't walk around with freaking paparazzi on me so I had no way to capture this amazing epiphany. Um, I don't really know even if it's an epiphany, it just it was just to me it just hit me all of a sudden you know. And David and I were driving in the car and I was explaining it to him and he was like this is awesome like don't forget this or whatever and so today I wrote it down and um, I figured I'd just make a little video on it because I think it's um, it's easier for people to listen to and watch than maybe to read to read something so quick but I think it's easier to connect on a video so I'm gonna try to explain myself as well as I can I'm I struggle to explain verbal things I think that's an INFP thing. I don't know. I don't think David struggles with that as much as I do, but um, I'm really awesome with words. Just don't make me like talk to you. Um, so I'm gonna try. So this video is about introverted intuition, and I think this is most like relevant to INFJs, INTJs, ENFJs, and ENTJs because they're dominant and secondary NI users. And obviously anybody else who's interested in this stuff will hopefully find this cool um, and relatable maybe. So introverted intuition is a primary perceiving function. It's not meant to put a judgment anywhere, it's literally just taking in data from the world. And what this does, I think this is one of the most like evasive, evasive, I don't know, oh god is that a word? Okay. It, I'm going to use a different word because I'm kind of worried that I just used a word and it was wrong. So, okay, NI is very mysterious in the way that it works um, because it is so subjective to the user and it's intuition, it's a type of intuition. So right off the bat it's kind of like, what are you talking about? So for the NI user, they take in information, but they're not directly going to latch on to the tangible data of the subject, whatever the subject is that they're taking information in from. Instead, it's like they have a lens, and all the information gets filtered in through the lens inside their little library of introverted intuition color. And in that library is full of life experience, um, personal meaning, knowledge, uh, things that all of us have. But what the NI user does is it takes that information in and what they end up latching onto about that information is whatever resonates internally with their experience and body of knowledge, what have you. And that is what sticks to the NI user. So really, I mean, there's a lot of, I know INFJs and INTJs, um, if you're reading about typology, it talks about how they seem to kind of be like disconnected from the real world. Um, and I think maybe that's why, because along with having inferior extroverted sensing, um, introverted intuition is basically just impressions of things, not actually what they are. So I think from that perspective it makes a lot of sense why they feel like they're kind of like living in their weird little alternate reality universe. Um, you know, not as uh, locked in, not as grounded as a lot of other types seem to be. Um, he even always compares himself to me and says that I seem, I keep him grounded. I'm like, what? 
but maybe in that sense, it, since I don't, you know, I don't favor introverted intuition, so I could see that. Um, and then with that, um, there's also, you know, if you if you're an INFJ, or if you read about INFJs, a lot of places usually mention INFJs are prone to talk. Um, talking metaphors, and I'm sure you could extend this to other NI users as well. I'm only talking about um, INFJs because I'm thinking about David, and um, it's been so prevalent in my life lately. So they talk, uh, it's it's said that they talk in metaphors, and David does this all the time. I do this a lot as well, but I, I think, I think um, a lot of uh, people with strong intuition are prone to do that. Um, but particularly NI users, because a metaphor is literally what they're taking away from subjects, from data. It's, um, they're not, because they don't latch on to the actual, like, physical, um, qualities, they only latch on to impressions, and so the only, the ways that they interpret things, the way that they can talk about things becomes it becomes metaphors because that's literally that's literally how their brain is interpreting the information. It, they're interpreting it in impressions, not realities. So um, I think a lot of people put value judgments on you know what they think in metaphors because that's superior. And I don't think that there should be uh, any value judgment there at all. It's literally just a statement of, of fact, an explanation for why um, NI users communicate the way that they do. Um, and I personally think metaphors are incredibly useful, even if you're not a dominant like, NI user or if you don't come up with metaphors. I think they're very relatable. A lot of people understand them. And it, when you can spin a concept in a different light, um, an experience you've had, you know, the, the NI users spitting it in a way that makes sense internally to them resonates with an experience that they've had or some kind of an inkling that they get. And a lot of times that really hits home with other people as well. Um, so I think that's why that, that works out so well for them. And INFJs and ENFJs in particular with extroverted feeling, they can then get those, you know, communicate those um, metaphors in a way that really is uh, caters to other people makes other people understand them and want to want to know more so those are my thoughts on ni at the moment um sorry if i'm kind of out of breath in this video i ran across the street to um badger some people i applied for a job as an administrative assistant at this little company and um it's been two weeks and I've tried contacting them. This is a long story, you don't need to know. Anyway, that's why I'm out of breath because it's freaking cold out, my nose hairs were freezing, and I like literally ran across the parking lot, so. I'm gonna go now, but I hope this video was cool and useful and um, hopefully it cleared up and I especially if you know again you're a person who's like am I an INFJ and I am an INFP well maybe if you resonated with this you want to lean more towards INFJ um like I said I use metaphors too but I think it's so much more prominent in INFJs um so pay attention to that tune into that all right talk to you guys later bye